Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Keen and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. I am so excited that I'm not even going to give any implication of what's going on. If you didn't see the last episode, then go back and see it before you watch this one. I'm so excited, I'm just going to get right into it and here we go. And after he said his peace. Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. In true light, was horror of horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Where's Monomi at? Everyone else looked the same. We all had a, this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um. 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 I won't believe. I, just won't I won't believe. believe. It. That's all there is to it. It'd be one thing if it were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It, it's impossible. It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly well, possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Of course, Biaki would be the one to object. Those mono beasts or whatever they're called are machines, thus Monokuma must also be the same. As long as those machines are, if men, someone made them and is controlling them. Then. Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me. Wait, who is it? Who? Ah. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remind, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines or even whoever is controlling them. More than anything, we just must be cautious of ourselves. Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. Where are my ears at? Where are they? That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces, and it was obvious from looking around at our expressions, everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, that's a, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no different, so I can truly be confident that something like that isn't going to happen. No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that overnight outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why I felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day, full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Oh, that's such a good intro! Yeah, see, that's, that's the reason that I don't think that Monami has had her last place in this game, because they wouldn't put her on the cover if... Crap. They wouldn't put Monami on the cover of the game, or not the cover, but the intro of the game, if she was going to die right off the bat. Alright, skip. You guys have already seen that in the first episode. Prologue. Welcome to Dangan... 
Island, panic at the heartthrobbing school trip, and surviving students, 16. Oh, it's got the surviving student counter! Oh yeah, for some reason all the blood is pink. That's not the end of the game, guys, it's just the end of that chapter. Obtained a present. Fosho Broken Wand. Fosho Broken Wand. I already saved recently, so yeah, let's go ahead and save this. You Electronic Student E-Handbook. Rule 5. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule 6. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving blackened will be forgiven for their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Rule 10. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. <clears throat> you are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions is in regard are not limited. <clears throat> Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark cart courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There's no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it. The moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School studying exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. Dot. 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 As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmates will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. <clears throat> and it led straight on to the first night. A night so beautiful, it enchanted me. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Destination Despair Chapter 1! Oh, I love these games. Ding dong, ding bong! Ahem! Hope Hope's Peak, Peak Academy, Academy School, School Trip, Trip Executive, Executive Committee, Committee has, has an announcement to make. to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then, then it, it sucks, sucks to be you. you! But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, 
before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Lana Kuma. Have a nice time. Derm. That's ominous. <laughs> the cottage, huh? I already saw my... Where am I? Like, seriously. Oh, I'm on the other side of the... Okay. 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 I'm... No. There I am. Hajime Hinata. Oh, cool. Damn it! As soon as I entered the college, I collapsed on the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see any more anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, I even even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. <laughs> I scream erupted from my mouth. <laughs> it rushed from my mouth like water from a col collapsed dam. <laughs> Why me? Why do I have to go through with all this? began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance, as if the waves were murmuring into my ears. This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Where? Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep. If only for a short while, I wanted to put an end to all this. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day, it wouldn't be- it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager ex expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Monokuma Theater! Now then, it's been a while since the main story started. So I'll give you the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action of your heart's content. I am excited! I'm so immersed! Oh my god, I'm so excited! I loved the first game, and I was I could not wait to get into the second one. Now then, until the very end. Enjoy this game to the fullest! I will! Good. Oh, wait, no. Good morning, everyone! Looks but like today is gonna be another, another perfect, perfect tropical day! day. Now then! Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me through- put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside. No, no, no! You're not allowed to go out. Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be worried, I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. <clears throat> They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Well, why do I have to do something like that? Well, I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Well, Good luck! 
Dermot, a silver stuffed animal. There he is. Huh? I've been found. Ooh. Wow. Good job. I've also left you some money coins. I'm so generous. These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best to look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise! What? what? Never mind, I should just go. Hotel site. <laughs> oh, uh huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I, I can say the same for you. Hey. But by the way, did you see them? Damn it! Oh man, not good. What the hurl are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh, the bridge, you know? Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? Uh, no, shirt. Sure. Why the hurl? Else would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. Uh, oh my God! It's here! So the mono beasts cool. are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys didn't don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other island. If those monsters are, the, are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! Ugh, so annoying, I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip, your face is getting weird. Aw, oh, man. I can't, there's no way I can get a grip. GET A GRIP! We're gonna be eaten by those monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey, what's all this noise? Ah! I got a monster! <laughs> and I came all the way here to get you both, but if you're gonna call me a monster, eh, you came here to get us? Well, I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant. Damn it. Uh, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here! Hey, wait. Where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but you yeah, it's burnt it away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Butterfly! Yuck, yuck. You're late, Hajime. And where is... Where's Rapist? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Says Jugs. Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... But... Running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run away. What a weirdo. However... However... What? After what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Eh, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, it took. It looked totally fake, anyways. Understand? Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? <laughs> not yet, until Rapist arrives. Oh, wait a sec, that means the reason you told us to come here is. Pointing! Owie, apparently. Apparently, Monsieur Bayakia has, Bayakia has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. You're not very smart. It's impossible! There's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it was heavy. It has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! How do you think it's possible with a fighting spirit?! Let me tell you A bold this. boast. However, let me give you some advice. It was close. Truly strong, do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Let's start talking already! <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. <laughs> oh, fine, jeez. I'll just bring Rapist myself then. Everyone wait here, I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. a little je I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiro. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. Just kidding! Disgusting moron. 
That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. Let's eat. Of course you would be... Ow, my elbow! Of course you would be the one to be all let's eat. Bianca, you've really let yourself go. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from anyways? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> they even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly stuttering face. <laughs> My ugly stuttering face? Gross. That's it. That's the face right there. Oh my. Why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh! Ah, I got it. Teru Teru prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Huh? You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shirty as this does. Um, this, is, um, this is bad? Tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just no, no, no. yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered sheer. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question! Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food? How rude! Hey, don't make it so personal. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does that mean? Well done. Well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. My good lord, you're such a perv! There's no mistake. In fact, your panties would drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pecco is wearing, for example. Did you, say you creep. How do you know about that? He guessed correctly. That's kind of um However However, if Tero Tero did not prepare this food, then the one who did is <laughs> could have been Monokuma. Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey! Okay, thanks for waiting, I brought him. You are a boy, hey, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that in? Oh, man! Stop, don't pull, you're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Be careful! Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know? Yeah, and I'm willing to bet that you're gonna be the first person to kill. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. This is turning out to be a really good game. I'm going to remember these people's names. Um, I've forgotten some of the nicknames that I've made. I will remember them, I promise. Um, and if not, then I'll just make new ones, because I don't, I don't really think that I liked the other ones anyways. But, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you like this, like and subscribe. I will be making many more videos like this to come. I am loving this game so much. I don't know what it is about these games, but this, it's not, it's not even point and click style games that I like. I mean, I do like those, they're okay. Not a whole lot of them do I play, but this one is just, oh my gosh, I can't control myself whenever I start playing this game. I just get so excited and so drawn into it and I lose track of time. That's why the first episode was an hour long. The second episode was an hour long. I honestly did not mean to make them that long. I just lost track of time because I got so wrapped up into the game because this game is so incredibly amazing and my ears are falling off. Cannot have that because I won't be able to hear myself. All right, but like I said, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you like, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.